It looks like we're having some kind of birthday party in our back garden this morning. These are Ali's new bird deterrents, which is so sad because we're always trying to get the pheasants to come to our garden more, but not when we're seeding our grass. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the vlogs. I thought that it was probably better to start off today in the greenhouse because it is busy and noisy in the house today. So let's get inside and see how, oh wow! <gasps> my goodness, I haven't been out here for a few days. Oh my gosh, <gasps> my tomato has sprouted. Oh my goodness. This is such amazing news. And look at my peas, absolutely thriving. And my sweet peas, oh my goodness. Guys, look at this. What did I put? These are sunflowers, so I don't think they're gonna have come up just yet. And none of my tomatoes from Zana have come to fruition just yet. We did some fresh planting over here and nothing as yet, but we have our first tomato and people will think this is absolutely hilarious because, oh, the soil needs some water, because I don't really eat tomatoes, if I'm being completely honest, but I, I, that's gonna change. <laughs> also, the tulips are growing so, so much. I'm a little bit upset this morning, though, because I made a massive, massive seed order from Farmer Gracie, not seed, bulb order from Farmer Gracie, and my friend made one as well, and Hers has arrived and mine blooming hasn't and I'm so jealous, but hopefully it'll be soon. It said sort of like the first week of April, so I am waiting. They've got to dispatch from the Netherlands or something. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna hold fire, but it is looking fabulous in here. I was thinking that the floor was gonna start in here today, but it actually hasn't. I don't know if they're coming later. They were supposed to be here, but, but they haven't. I think what I'm gonna do though is give everything a little bit of a drink of water and just give it some, some goodness for the rest of the day because it's actually been quite sunny and warm the past few days, which is lovely, but it means I need to be a little bit more on the ball with looking after my spruits. Let me know if you have had anything grow or sprout up. Let me know in the comments because I love to know what you guys are growing as well. It is just so exciting. Every weekend I sort of plan what I'm gonna plant that weekend. You would have seen me put in my asparagus plants. I've got two more to plant actually. So I'm gonna get those out as quickly as possible. I also sowed a load of carrots. So fingers crossed, we're gonna start seeing a lot more come together over the next few weeks, which is really exciting. We have taken delivery of a lot of furniture that is in the house at the moment. We currently have our new his and hers vanity unit in our hallway, which is not ideal. Hopefully that'll be moving soon. The actual bathroom is being replumbed at the moment, so I can't go into my dressing room because a lot of our plumbing is in the, the eaves on my side of the house. So they're in there at the moment. So what I think I'm gonna do is I've got some bits, because I have been doing some shopping, guys. This weather is doing the most for my good vibes, my positive vibes, and so I did some shopping, and I'm not even sorry about it because we're actually gonna get to wear this stuff out, and I'm actually gonna go into my wardrobe when I get it back and um, fish out some of the things that I'm gonna be wearing this season, basically, because there was a lot of things that didn't get worn, and, well, they got worn. I think I was quite good, to be honest. I was quite good. Like I said in my last video, the world is gonna be my, my runway, and I'm gonna start planning all of my outfits fits now basically. Hopefully the guys are going to come out here and start the floor today but there should be a lot more to show you. The utility room is coming on amazingly and actually the changes in there have been so good. It just feels like a completely different space and so I'm really looking forward to showing you in there later on today as well. Also I wanted to ask you for some advice before we head inside and do a little bit of an unboxing. I've got about four boxes to open with you but there's going to be more coming throughout the video. But this is my plan, okay? As you will have known, we repositioned all of the trees in this area because they were taking a lot of light from coming into the house. And what we really want to do is we want to get some wisteria growing up this side of the house just to soften it a little bit. The only issue we have with that is that obviously there's not really any beds around 
this area. So we'd have to put the wisteria into a pot. But how big would we need the pot to be if we wanted the wisteria to grow all the way up the house? We've actually bought the wisteria here. We've got a white one for this side of the house. And because I think that mainly my cutting gardens and things like that are going to be white and pink. So I don't know what to suggest. I mean, we've got this flower bed here, but I don't know if I want the wisteria growing from this flower bed. I also, we just need to redo this flower bed. I'm like, I'm, this is just, so random. We could obviously plant it into here and have it grow up there but I feel like it's a bit random. What I wanted to do was having it grow up from the courtyard and then just kind of spraying out in lots of different directions. But yeah, I don't really know what the right thing to do with that is. However, can we just appreciate that the, the party streamers are working? <laughs> there are no birds. Also, you might notice that we have painted our door. We've also cleared the bins from this area in prep for the wisteria. But just a really subtle change on this door. This was bugging me for so long. It was a stupid decision that I made to paint the door frame a different colour to the door. This is now in pea green from Atelier Ellis to match everything else in the house as well. And just painting the frame looks so much better. It makes the door feel bigger and grander. We've done it with the front door as well, so I'll take you around there and show you that. But just a small change, but something that was bugging me. And so I was, I was really keen to get this changed. It's got one coat at the moment, and we've still got our From the Anvil handles, which I love. But I'll take you and show you the front door. As you can hear, there is a lot going on, but I wanted to show you quickly the difference and how much softer the door looks. I'm not going to spend too much time out here, though, because it's noisy AF but it looks so much better. This is what my dressing room looks like at the moment. I've taken all of the products out because there's access to the eaves in there, but I'm not gonna let that get in my way. That's why I'm gonna sit down in the living room with you and open my other packages. Um, but I wanted to open this one up first with you because I'd actually like to shoot something in this dress because it is absolutely wonderful. I've been doing some shopping on Farfetch and you'll know that I've worked with Farfetch for a very, 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 very long time and it's just really lovely to work with them because especially at a time like this it's so lovely to be supporting lots of really independent boutiques from around the world because i know that i'm trying to be conscious with what i'm buying from where a little bit more so really kind of supporting those smaller businesses because half of these stores that arrive i've never heard of them and they have the most beautiful stock and it's so good to have them all in one place which is basically what farfetch is it's like a hub of all these beautiful boutiques and they all come from all over the world and it's just wonderful obviously i have a discount code which is live again and you guys can shop my selects what i've been buying and also what i've been wearing because we are going to get inside and pick out all of the wonderful things that I plan to wear when we get out of all of this. But for now, I've got a really, really lovely picture that I'd like to get because there's blossom currently hanging over our new gate walls. And so I want to get a picture there. Also, um, I need to shoot some bits with Ali. So this particular dress, it's so stunning. It is unbelievable, like just the most I'm sorry if you, I'm, I'm so used to hearing the, the banging now that I didn't even realize. But yes, this dress is so sun, stunning and so beautiful. So I think, Ooh. So this particular one has come from Portugal. It's got the little Portuguese flag sticker on it. And I checked my delivery notification. And so I think in here is this dress. And this dress is just, it's just one of those really kind of wow pieces. I'm very excited. And the drilling is killing my vibe. <laughs> so for me, guys, I think that my Anne with an E obsession has got a little bit out of hand, but oh my goodness, the ruffles, the neckline, the Zimmerman collection this year or this season is absolutely stunning. And it's actually really colorful as well. But this one is definitely one of the more muted pieces and it is just so wonderful. So the actual model had this styled with a really beautiful black waist belt, which kind of gave it um, a real kind of, I can't explain it. It just reminded me of Anne with an E and this, this silhouette is just, oh, just so beautiful. So I'm not gonna gush over it anymore. I'm gonna link everything in this video um, in the description box down below. So if you did want to shop anything, you can shop it there. I'll also pick some other items from Zimmerman because I do find that I naturally gravitate to this brand at this time of year because I feel like it really does encompass my personal style really well. And I get so eager and so excited 
for the launches. So I know that a lot of you like it as well. So I'll link some of my favorite pieces and I'll link this down below and I'm gonna show you a lot more after this because we're gonna go sit in the lounge where hopefully we can get some peace and quiet and go through the other items. But now I've got some bits that I want to shoot and I'm so excited and there's been so many deliveries today. Oh my goodness. Can you tell that it is a little bit manic today and I wasn't prepared for how busy and noisy it was gonna be, FYI. <laughs> This is the dress on. I've styled it with my Alexander McQueen belt, which is a firm favorite. I think I got this from Farfetch as well. And then I've got about five year old Chloe boots, but I am officially Lydia with an A. <laughs> it's so wonderful. I, I would love to see this in a pattern so that you were able to wear it to a wedding because this is obviously quite an ivory color, but to have this in like a floral or even just another color, maybe like a dusky pink, something like that would be absolutely wonderful. Obviously, I would love to see it in sage. There's a lot of fabric, so I was worried that I was gonna feel quite like froofy, but I actually just feel wonderful in it. I just wanna go and shoot lots of pictures and frolic in the fields around where we live because it's just so beautiful. I've never ever ever owned a dress as beautiful as this that you can wear kind of every day. And do you know what also I love? I love the fact that it's got a zip back to it so you don't have to worry about undoing all of these beautiful buttons. There is a zip at the back but there's lots of ruching and pleating and darting and it's just absolutely incredible. I am in love with this. Well, I just shot some really, really lovely pictures in this dress. I actually don't want to take it off, but I'm going to change into this dress, which is the dress from my previous haul from Zimmerman. I popped a slip underneath it, but I'm going to change into this to shoot my next images. And it is blooming gorgeous. And you can hear Porter playing with Ali. They're playing hide and seek in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, I really want to wear this all day, but I think that the builders think that I'm absolutely mental. <laughs> this little sausage is sitting in the sunshine, so I'm going to cover him with a widow blanket to keep him warm, because he obviously wants to be there. Oh my goodness, you get it up a little bit, my boy. Oh, you hear your mummy's voice, you come running. <laughs> I've just finished up shooting in this dress, which was from my last haul, and it is so gorgeous. I think I'm posting this one over on my home account, but this dress is gonna get so much wear. And do you know what? I've just edited up the pictures that I've taken in that dress, and I just feel like this is such my vibe. I feel like there's something about Zimmerman dresses, that they're elegant, but they're powerful at the same time. It's almost like the same feeling that I get from wearing a really, really good blazer in like autumn, winter. Putting on a beautiful dress that's like structured, but elegant, I don't know, it just has that same vibe for me. So I'm so drawn to these dresses and I can't wait to wear ones without sleeves when it gets warmer. But we have had such beautiful weather this week. It's just a little bit chilly. So I'm gonna change out of this and back into my jumper dress. And then hopefully a little bit later on in the day, I'll be able to show you the stuff that's in the other boxes. But I'm not gonna battle with the workmen anymore, honestly. It's so hard because what they're doing at the moment, <laughs> I thought that, <laughs> So I thought that the plumber was in my eaves for a second and that I'd shut the door on him. So in the, the ensuite at the moment, they're channeling out the new pipe work for our burnished brass. Is it burnished bronze or burnished, burnished bronze? I can't remember, but our tub from the Albion Bath Company, they're channeling out that in the floor. So they've got a drill going on in there. Then the painters are sanding and drilling out the handles on the doors because we've got our new from the anvil brass handles going on the doors. And then we've got the carpenter who is like sawing and nailing and all of that good stuff. So there's lots going on. At the moment, they've not turned up to do my greenhouse floor. So we're just trying to find out what's like happening there, but I'm not gonna battle against them anymore. So I'm gonna put on something warm. <laughs> you can literally hear banging all the time. I'm gonna put on something warm and try and stay out of the way for a little while. And then I can probably update you towards the end of the day, but I'm enjoying the sunshine and I really enjoy 
enjoyed taking pictures. Do you know what? Sometimes I fall out of love with taking Instagram pictures, but when I've got something to wear that really inspires me, it's quite exciting and it makes it more like fun. I love finding locations where it's just easy to shoot and everything looks nice. Now, Lou, <laughs> it's just hilarious. I've got a dog and a cat that follow me around all the time, barking and meowing, and then we've got all the builders in. But anyway, I've got lots more to show you, so all is not lost. There we go, that is a lot warmer. I've actually got a vest from Intimissimi Me and also a thermal long sleeve top from Intimissimi Me underneath. It is still chilly, okay? And then I've got Chalcedonia tights on, but I've teamed it with my Prada boots and an Hermes belt, which I actually saw one of these on Farfetch the other day, but this is my little tan one that just makes me feel a little bit less blocky when I wear things like this, but this jumper dress is so soft and so warm, so that's what I'm gonna wear for the rest of the day, I think. I cannot cope with how warm it is today. I almost feel like opening up the doors because it is so wonderful and warm. We've just been sent the furniture suggestions for the patio. So I'm out here measuring a two-seater sofa from Garden Trading. I think it might be too small though. I'm not sure. I'm waiting for Lauren to respond. But basically this is going to be a little fire pit area with olive trees. It's going to be so lovely. But this little guy is going to come with me. We're going to go and water some plants, aren't we? Oh, he loves it out in the garden now. It's definitely... Oh, you got some grass, have you? You've been eating some grass. Fabulous. You're always eating, eating the stuff that you shouldn't eat. <laughs> Ali's having a huge shed clear out. He's desperate for a new shed. Sadly, we don't have the budget. <laughs> oh, dear. Into my safe haven. Go in your favourite place because it's going to be gone soon. Yeah, go play in the, in the sand. Good boy. Good boy. I am literally fighting against the evening sun at the moment. I need to get Porter out for a walk. But the tradesmen have worked late this evening and they've actually been helping get things organized in the bedroom. So I can actually take you in there and show you my new Porter vanity unit, which I am so excited about. It is unbelievable. So I'll take you in there. But first of all, what I'm gonna do is unbox a few items that have arrived today. I think there's probably gonna be some more arriving over the next couple of days. So I might have to spread my try-ons with you a little bit like throughout, but it's fine it's fine first up i'm gonna get into this one again i'm gonna pop on screen my discount code so that it's easy for you to reference if you wanted to shop because i know that lots of you like discount codes i always get messaged for discount codes and so i'll pop it on screen and in the description box if that, if that helps this is a purchase that you likely will have seen before. So um, I actually ended up having to throw my old castagna wedges in the bin. They were so ruined. I think they got wet towards the end of last year and they were so ruined. And I just thought, you know what? I wear them so much. And I actually went to wear them in a reels that I was filming recently and I was like, <gasps> I haven't replaced them yet. <laughs> I wanted to get myself some more castagna wedges. I think it's castagne, 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 castagne blows my mind. Wanted to get a tan pair. These might not be tan enough. I wanted obviously a tan pair to go with my new Hermes Birkin because I think it will look really lovely but also just to have a different variant in colour because I obviously wear my cream ones so much and I generally go for this slightly smaller heel without the platform. I mean espadrilles generally have a little bit of an, a platform on them anyway but these are just such a great summer shoe and they go so nicely with the most beautiful dresses. It really is just like a casual way to elevate and give yourself a little bit of like height so I live in these absolutely live in them so I got those in a sort of tan but I'm gonna look at them next to my Birkin but I actually quite like them as a nude as well so it could be like a nude option but I picked those up these are the castagno wedges in the more tan color as you can see they are still quite a bit lighter than my Hermes bag so I think I would probably stick with my tan Valentinos if I was gonna wear this bag but I feel like this is just such a good look for London you're gonna have to ignore the drilling because I am doing my <laughs> I'm trying so hard 
I think I'd still keep these though because I think that they would go really lovely with some nude accessories that I've got. I feel very rosy Londoner in this. I just absolutely love everything about her content and when she wears her beautiful elegant dresses it very much inspires me and I think that this makes me feel a little bit like her and I love it. In fact she's got a very similar Birkin I think to this as well so I'm channeling all the rosy Londoner vibes in this outfit. And then in here, oh this one's come from Costa del England. <laughs> <laughs> so not very far. Okie dokie. Oh, there's two items in here. Fabulous. First up we have, oh my goodness. Obviously I've spoken quite a bit about my love of Zimmerman at this time of year. And I know that not everyone's into it and I, and I get that some people think that it could be a little bit basic, but for me it's just, oh, I feel fabulous in all of their clothing. And that is what fashion is all about. Wearing what makes you feel fabulous and makes you feel wonderful and happy. This is another Zimmerman dress. Oh my goodness, this dress. Oh, in fact, oh my gosh, I can't wait to shoot this. This in a field of bluebells is just gonna be the most beautiful shoot I think I've ever done. Big sleeves and with an E vibes, I can't cope. I can't cope. <laughs> And it comes with this really beautiful blush leather belt. But again, you could swap that out for a waist belt that you love because that's all we do on this channel. This is more of a mini dress as well. Do you know what? I might have to wear this for my birthday. I might have to wear this for my birthday. It might be a done deal. But the colours, and it's actually really colourful for me because it's got a lot of green in there. It's got a lot of pink floral and then the sort of background two the pieces are beautiful lilac-y blue but it's all really quite earthy and botanical it's not too much like in your face but this collection this year i know i've already said it it's just absolutely stunning and i don't think it's doing it any justice so obviously i'm going to be trying these on with you this is the other zimmerman dress and i just think this is unbelievable this is probably one of the most beautiful dresses I own. It is so elegant and so beautiful. I don't think I would probably wear this belt with it. I might swap it out for the Alt Zero one as well because this is quite rigid, but it's an absolute win. I'm 110% keeping this. And again, this has all of the Anne with an E vibes because this reminds me of the blue dress that she got. All dresses now remind me of that, but this does remind me of the blue dress that Matthew buys for her. And I just, I am obsessed, absolutely obsessed. It reminds me also of my sort of rose floral one that's backless. I must've got it about four years ago in the Selfridges sale and I've still got it now. It's one of the most beautiful Zimmerman dresses, but it's completely backless. So it's not as wearable every day. Whereas this, you could pop it with like biker boots and it would still look absolutely stunning. This is an absolute vibe. Oh, I forgot about this dress. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting this fabric. So this is kind of like a jersey fabric and this is a brand that I've not ever purchased from before. It's called Anu Anuki or Anukai. And I wasn't expecting this to be like a jersey material, but this is basically, I really loved the colors. What is this fabric? Hello label. I have no idea. Oh, it's 76% cotton and 24% PL. I don't know what that means. But it was this really, really beautiful shirt dress, but with big puff sleeves. So this has really puffed sleeves, but also it's got a kind of structured hem as well to give it a bit of movement. And it just looked really, really beautiful on. It did have a waist belt. Yes, it did. This is like a, either a leather or a faux leather waist belt, but I'd probably swap this out for something different. I've actually got a belt in this haul, which is more of like a raffia belt, kind of woven, which I thought would look really lovely with castagna wedges and with this dress as well. But I'm really intrigued to see what this looks like on because it's not what I expected at all. But I really love the pattern on this because it's hydrangeas. You probably can't see it that well, but it's blue and almost like a golden yellow hydrangea print. And it's just really, really beautiful. So so hopefully it looks as lovely on as it did on the website because on the website it just looked beautiful. I know I say this every year, but florals in spring, 
groundbreaking but I love them I absolutely love them so that was why there's kind of a lot of femininity and, and ruffles and elegance and florals in this haul basically I have popped the Anuki or Anukai dress on um, I've done it without the belt that it came with but I'm 110% keeping this dress it is absolutely beautiful it's got real movement to the skirt because it's got almost like a structured hem as part of it so I really love that. I also love the fact that it's got this beautiful double collar that has a contrast fabric to it that just adds a little bit of detail to it. I love the sleeves, I love that it's a shirt dress and it's just absolutely beautiful. The sleeves are so statement and so elegant and it just fits so nicely around the sort of rib cage area. I popped on with some Jimmy Choo heels. I don't know if these are in stock on Farfetch but if they are I will link them in the description box down below. They're just almost like invisible shoes they just kind of look like you're not wearing anything and I think that's quite lovely but you could also pop these with castagna wedges and it would look so lovely this would be good for work and also good for like garden parties and things like that this is the belt that I ordered I was worried that I'd ordered some sunglasses and didn't realize I'd ordered them but this belt is from Alpzura and I love that brand so much and this belt looked so perfect to go with a more summery feel for with my like more tan bags because it's got this little tan leather detailing to the end of it but also this beautiful woven fabric and it doesn't have holes in it because you just make the holes wherever you want and this for me is definitely like waist belt this is not around the hip so I went for the smallest size which I think was like a 60 but I absolutely love this and it's just such like a summery alternative for waist belt edge <laughs> waist belt edge I'm just like making up my own words now don't I then I've popped on the Alzura belt with the Anuki dress because I think that it looks really really lovely I actually prefer this belt to the belt that came with it I think I would probably swap out the belt because I don't necessarily think that it's like my style the white belt I'd wear something different and I could also pop my Hermes belt with it if I wanted to wear it with my Hermes Birkin or with a mulberry bag it'd look really lovely with tan accessories but I love this belt because it'll go really nicely with summer accessories like straw bags straw hats etc etc so this is really really lovely um, but I have got some other bits coming so I've actually got another dress and I've got another top as well coming if they don't arrive in time I will show you in another video but very lovely pieces so let me know in the comments which one was your favorite out of this little edit here and let me know what kind of trend not trend because you know that that's not really something that I like to get on board with but um, let me know if there is like anything specific that you're really loving at the moment in terms of fashion in the comments because I would love to be inspired by you guys. So yes, do let me know. And obviously do not forget that I've got my Farfetch discount code and I work with Farfetch and some of these items were purchased using a gift voucher. But as always, I put a huge amount of my own money into it as well because I love shopping basically. And I actually am really excited to shop at the moment. I think it, I, I probably haven't really been shopping that's a massive lie but I, I I haven't been enjoying fashion as much as I usually do but when it comes to the spring seasons I get very excited and I uploaded a picture today and someone was like feminine spring Lydia has entered the chat and I was like yes she has <laughs> right I'm gonna get this stuff into the recycling but so far I think I'm gonna keep everything like from the outset I'm looking at everything and I'm like I love it so it's just the fabric on that dress, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try it on. How lovely is, it, is that little vignette behind me? That almost looks like an oil painting. The way that Catherine has put together the blossoms from our tree, it literally, that could be an oil painting behind us. How stunning. Makes me very happy, very, very happy. So I thought I would give you a quick update on what's been going on. <laughs> our hallway is a hot mess, like I love, the vulvic touch of fruit that's just been left <laughs> i'm gonna have a quick run around and tidy up but this arrived today this is my sofa.com armchair so this used to be in the kitchen and we've had them re-upholstered with the most beautiful harris tweed fabric oh my goodness so this is going to sit under here i believe there's going to be like a little table lamp or something um, I think this table's going here, but I might be wrong. This is the table that I unboxed in my other video. It probably won't be this sort of setup, but this is supposed to be a little place 
under the stairs if people wanna like come and take their shoes off or whatever, or just sit. And who remembers when I put a chair under the stairs and people were like, eh, why did you put a chair under your stairs? And I was like, because it looks nice. <laughs> but it does give that real cozy, cozy feel. And so I really like this idea and I love the fabric that Lauren's gone for on the chair. I think it works really well. It's got beautiful texture. These doors have been put on and they've got their first coat of drop cloth on them. We have started removing handles ready for the, from the anvil ones to go on. I don't know when those are going on. We also have a little bit of skirting on as well. So skirtings have been going on in the hallway, which is looking lovely. But I think the most noticeable difference is in this room. In here, we've continued the theme of the kitchen. So on the walls is Hardwick White and on the cupboards is Slate 5 from Paint and Paper Library. Obviously we've continued the flooring in here, but it's so much softer and brighter in here. It feels really lovely. And um, they decided to keep the really big shelf as well, which I think they're gonna work into the design really nicely as well. So this is a huge change, a huge, huge change. And I think that it, it works a lot better. And I feel like the, the freestanding dryer and uh, washing machine work better with the color. They don't look so white, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think this has come together really nice in here and I love, love, love the colors. So that's really good. Now we're in the hallway. I'm actually gonna move these items into the greenhouse soon maybe now, who knows, just to get them out the hallway because the styling's obviously been done, but they are not needed. Next up, a little update in here is this red and it looks so much redder on camera. I feel like you're not getting the true color at all. This is not what it looks like on my camera. It is a much deeper, more like, Carrie described it as, a, as the same as like a heritage green. This is like a heritage red. It's very much more burgundy, more maroon, but it, it almost looks like mahogany in that area over there, but it just doesn't come across. Hold on, I'm gonna try and see if I can put the brightness down on the camera. Okay, that is a much more accurate depiction of the color. Obviously, it's very dark in this area at the moment because basically the whole floor is covered, but it is a much richer color. Like that is probably, <laughs> if you can see, yeah, that's probably the most accurate depiction right there. And it is gonna look so beautiful with the Barnaby Gates wallpaper. I'm very excited. This is obviously just the undercoat. We don't have aubergine going on the walls, but um, yeah, I'm really excited for this room to come together. And then we head into the master suite and what a suite it is. So this is all going tomorrow. Sad times, I feel like it's the end of an era. I feel like I said that in my other video, but it really is because if this, well, when this bed goes, this bed literally moved in the day that we moved in. It arrived and we had it put up and we slept on it that first night and it was just wonderful. But my style has changed a lot since that point and we've loved this bed so much but it's time to go to a new home chairs going ottomans going and then here we have my my very lovely burlington toilet but also my very very beautiful porter vanity unit and look oh my goodness look at that and then we've got the i hope i'm saying it right the lefoy lefroy book Brooks. I think it has the taps going on there and then that is our beautiful heated towel rail going behind which is also from Lefroy Brooks. We've got our porter mirrors that are going to be going up and this is the progress in the bathroom. Not a lot sadly although we do have a shower tray and everything is all working so this our little shower thing is actually on now um so if i was to turn that on water would come out of there they have told me that so i'm not going to do that but yes this is our shower tray so it's basically going to seamlessly blend into the floor and the floor will start going down from monday which is exciting we've got the new boxing in and um this is where the toilet's going to be this is where the vanity is going to be and then the bath we've got all the plumbing work in now and the plumber can go so now I can have my dressing room back, which is good. It doesn't look like a lot of progress in here, but they have been working nonstop and working overtime. So yes, there has been um, a lot going on in here, but I am very excited for the skirtings to go on and be painted because I think that that is gonna be a real finishing touch for the hallway and it will start to look a lot more finished. But now I'm gonna get myself into some practical clothing and I'm going to take Mr. Porty Poo out for a walk. We are out on our walk and 
we've lost a layer people we are without coat we still have two jumpers a thermal a vest and a bra but we've lost the coat the coat is gone because that means we are on our way to the end of spring the end of spring it's not the end of spring it's just the beginning people it is just the beginning. This one is just, he is just blowing my mind with everything that he's learning. It is amazing. Honestly, I never thought I would see the day that he would walk from our front gates out on a walk. I never thought I would see the day. He just wouldn't do it. He would not do it. And now, look at him. <laughs> what we're working on at the moment is um, hopefully getting him more comfortable on the lead. That is one thing that I really want to work on. I'm sure it will come with time. That's why we're, we're generally walking on the roads because we can't obviously walk him off lead on the fields when there's little baby lambies in there. So we're sticking to the roads at the moment. Look at him, little dot coming up behind me. <laughs> he couldn't see me and he just, look at him coming when you see him this small. Come on little man. Come on, hello. <laughs> Say hello to all of your fans. Oh. <laughs> but there has been a lot of sunshine today and you can see the effects of the sunshine on the trees. There are buds that were not here yesterday. It's absolutely incredible. And the smell at walking out of our road was unreal, absolutely unreal. I think it's um the same that we've got. We've got like a, is it a, Portuguese plum, no, European plum tree, and it has beautiful white blossoms on it. And oh, it smells amazing. We're gonna finish off our walk and head home, have a sort out of the house, as we do every night, and uh, have some dinner. I think Ali's cooking tonight. Bolognese, I think, lovely. I'm just powering through the washing in the laundry room, but I did have to tell you about this. This is not an ad, by the way, but, well, it is something that I'm working on, but it's not in this video. Basically, I was sent this to try as part of a campaign, and I was a bit like, oh, you know, is it, should I work on it, should I not? And then it arrived, and I used it, and it is incredible. The whole world needs to know about this, because right now, my entire laundry room smells of the most wonderful spring fragrance, just like the ones that I was smelling on my trip down taking Porter for a walk. It's incredible. It is the most like concentrated and strong fabric softener I think I have ever, ever used. I'm actually gonna mix up some spray bottles to spray this on some fabrics around the house because it is so good. I've actually seen that there's another one as well that has yellow flowers on it as well, but love this literally love this i'll link it in the description box but if you love the smell like if you love your laundry to smell amazing this really is incredible i'm currently cooking bolognese and um, i'm already a glass of mud house deep but we are now at the point where we're going to have to essentially dismantle the bedroom so that's going to be the port of call for the evening porter is absolutely pooped after his walk. You've been a good boy. You are such a good boy. I've bought him two new harnesses, a new coat, and a new bed, all from Mutts and Hounds. So I think that'll be lovely for you, won't it? Because you're such a big boy now. You're too big for your harness. Lumi's just gone through all of the woodwork in the bathroom and got stuck in the, uh, what's it called, the boxing in. But we managed to get her out and I've popped her up here so that she can make the most of the bed for the last time because you're not gonna be able to do this with the next bed. I'm so sorry. Good morning, everyone. It is now day two of the vlog and today is actually the day that my video goes live where my edit with By Terry is launching on site and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I am in my dressing room at the moment because I need to have a huge, huge, sort out today um, everything needs to just be put away so I'm gonna do a, a quick sort of zhuzh around because the plumbers finished in my little cubby hole so these will need to go back excitingly I've just put the wheels in motion for our new garden furniture and this is garden furniture that um, I have been admiring for a very very long time I found this brand on Instagram and I think they had like 300 followers or something when I found them and that always like I think that's really wonderful when like a business has just been 
doing well on its own without social media. I think that's so amazing to be able to achieve in this day and age. As soon as I found them, I was like, that is exactly the furniture that I want. The brand is called Oxenwood and basically they do really beautiful, chunky and rustic wooden furniture for your garden. And also they do like dining tables, they do planters. It is the most expensive furniture I think I've ever seen for a garden, although I'm sure there are much more expensive out there in the world, but I wanted something that's gonna last us forever and also continue that threading of that feel into that area of our patio. It's an investment, but this is, this is how I see it. So I'm like, this is where I can see the money that I would have spent on switches and sockets going to better use, like on our patio, because our patio is gonna be probably the most used space, socially speaking, over the next few months. And so also the amazing thing about them as well is their lead time is six to eight weeks. So I put the wheels in motion for those. We're getting two three-seater sofas. I'll pop pictures of the furniture on screen because it is honestly the most beautiful furniture. In fact, you might have seen it or you might have sat on one because I think they have some of their furniture at Vista Village. It's all made in the UK and it's all handmade and it's made out of big, beautiful, chunky bits of wood and it's just, mm. the moment that I found this brand, I was like, yes, yes, yes. So. We're actually gonna be changing the cushions to more of an ivory color to match our other furniture because we, we're gonna have a mix of wood and wicker on our patio and it's gonna look really, really nice. Um, we're having a fire pit and a rug and blah, blah, blah. So I've literally hit the button and said, let's go. So hopefully by sort of end of April to mid-May, we will have our furniture. I think we're getting a new dining table. Sadly, I can't afford to have the wicker dining chairs. At the moment, I didn't realize this, we've got real wicker sun loungers from Oka and our actual dining set that we have at the moment is faux wicker and the oxenwood chairs usually are real wicker but we don't have that so what we're doing is we're just going to use our faux wicker ones for now and then later down the road if i ever need to replace them i'll order the the real wicker ones to go outside and and sort of marry everything up but there's gonna oh it's just gonna be so beautiful i'm very very excited about this <laughs> you have no idea today is also exciting because there's lots of progress in the hallway and also my greenhouse floor has started going down so it should be finished i think if not by the end of the week by tomorrow which which, oh my gosh, I'm very, very excited about. I've been spending my morning on Facebook Marketplace looking for old pine tables and things like that for in there. Because as long as I've got a table in there, everything else I'll just find as I go. But I really would like a, a sort of dining table center island come entertaining space but I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. I, this is something that you can find that I literally, like I said, almost got one for like 50 quid and I was like, oh! I'm also waiting for two more Farfetch packages to arrive I can open with you as well. And yes, so whilst I wait for that to happen, I'm going to give my dressing room the, the biggest little tidy up of its life because I've also got furniture going today. This ottoman is going and I'm going to be using my little Bem's covered one from the living room in here because it's softer and the bedroom furniture is going today as well. So currently there are people in the greenhouse, people in the hallway, people in the downstairs cloakroom and people in our ensuite working away. So it is, it's, it's full on, but there's not so much drilling today, which that um, pleases me quite a lot. So yeah, let's give it a good old tidy up. So I've had the tidy up and kind of sorted everything out, but I'm not gonna put this stuff away into the cabinet because I've actually got the electrician coming tomorrow. So it's a bit silly to do that, but I wanted to show you two beauty things that arrived. Well, kind of beauty wellness um, items that arrived. This has arrived from Esper and this is their new diffuser, which I saw on their Instagram. And if ever there is excitement about a diffuser, it is the Espar one because their blended oils are unreal. So we've got the positivity, so I can fill my room with the smell of positivity, which makes me really happy. And um, there's also energizing and restorative, and I love both the positivity and the restorative oil. It's also, of course, beautiful and understated, much like everything that Espar does. So that arrived and I wanted to show you that quickly. And also we've had a little arrival from Dior. I am 
very, 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 very excited at here. This is what looks like their new foundation. This is their Forever Natural Nude Dior Foundation and the Perfect Fix Self Refresh Hydrate Mist. And if there is one thing that ex excites me in beauty, it is face mists. And so I'm gonna put this to the test right now. Although we're, we're looking very glowy today. <laughs> oh. oh, it smells delicious. And it's also got a very, very exceptional mist to it. So whilst I dry, I'm gonna put these items away into my to test drawer. And I'm also gonna open up the two boxes that have arrived today from Farfetch and try those on with you as well, like I did earlier. But today is a very, very busy day. We have some new arrivals that weren't here the other day. So I thought I would get into these boxes with you. Showing you the other items that I ordered for Farfetch. I'll pop my code on screen as well so that you can make full use of that. First up we have um, another pair of Castanier wedges. These are my original ones that I replaced and they've got the slightly lower heel um, and the almond toe with the raffia wedge. So they're gonna look really, really lovely with more summery and bright, col not colorful, well, they're goes with colourful too so you can wear these kind of with any, everything but I'd had mine for a, a good couple of years and I felt like they just needed a bit of a refresh so um, I treated myself to a fresh pair I will link them in the description box down below for you and I know you know what castagna wedges look like because I wear them to death in the summertime but they just go so perfectly with my entire summer wardrobe so yes I think that these are going to be worn a lot over the next few months and you're probably going to be sick of the sight of them but I love them and they're so comfortable as well in this box I think this is going to be quite possibly the most beautiful blouse I think I own. And I don't know what this fabric is. It's like a special Zimmerman fabric. Let me have a look. 52% linen. So the frame is 100% Rami, 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 who knows. Then there's the, the contrast, which is, I believe, this. So this is the linen section. So this has 52% linen um, and then something else <laughs> that I don't know. But this is basically a structured sleeve blouse from Zimmerman and it's got these beautiful like applique flowers on it. It's high neck, this with some beautiful white linen trousers or um, white linen shorts is going to look so beautiful and elegant but still be quite detailed. So it's not just a white blouse. So I really, really wanted to get something slightly different but also typically me, which is the white blouse. So I ordered that and I think that there'll probably be, I think there's a skirt that goes with it, which I could be tempted to, to order as well. And it comes in lilac as well. So I'll link all of those in the description box as well. I think I am missing a dress still. Let me check. Yeah, so I'm only missing a dress, um, which is a Sylvia, I'm probably gonna absolutely butcher this name, Cher, Cherassi? Cherassi? I don't know. Um, but I'll pop a picture of the dress on screen and if it arrives before this video goes out, I'll pop in a little cutaway of me wearing it here and tell you what I think because this is sort of more of a sundress that you could wear with flats and it's still like more, not formal, it's more, what's the word? Smart and less sort of flamboyant, which I think all of that stuff is quite flamboyant which I love, but this one is more kind of like a shirt, sleeveless shirt dress with a floral uh, hem to it. If it arrives, I'll pop it on screen now, but yes, I hope that's okay, and I hope you um, enjoyed those pieces. I am now going to get on with my day. I've got a Zoom call in an hour, so yes. And my kitchen garden floor is going in. It's very exciting. Anyway, I must get on. I have just finished up on my Zoom call, and it was really, really good, actually really good really good that's all i can say but it was really good and um i feel like i've been hiding away all day obviously i've been upstairs um sorting out my dressing room i've also been like filming stuff and then i've had this like nearly two hour um zoom call so i feel like i don't know what's going on in the house i can still hear radios but it is almost five o'clock so um i don't expect that anyone would still be here it looks like the door is closed on my greenhouse, so I'm gonna go out and inspect everything that's kind of come together today because I feel like I just, I don't know why there would still be people here unless people are working late. So, um, 
yeah, I'm gonna go and have a look around. What? So I was right. Um, we do still have tradesmen in the house. We have Watford Refrigeration, which is actually um, my brother-in-law and father-in-law. Does that work that way? Anyway, they are fitting the air conditioning unit in our bedroom, but I have come out to look at my freshly laid limestone cobbled floor. Now there are still a few cuts that need doing. Um, I can't walk on it this evening, sadly, so I can't check on the spruits. Oh, I hope you're doing okay, guys. But um, it still needs to be grouted, so these lines will look very dark. They will be going a lot lighter, the same uh, colour as our kitchen. Um, but yes, this is the floor pretty much laid. I don't think it's going to be finished tomorrow, um, but we are hoping uh, that it should be finished by next week. But at least I can walk on it from tomorrow, so that is very good. But it's looking very, very lovely and feeling very finished in here. Now I just need to find my blooming table because my log burner arrives, I think, next week. So we are, we'll be able to put that in straight away, hopefully. And uh, then it's just a little centre table to work around, which is gonna be so lovely. It is 7 p.m. and the Watford refrigeration guys have just left and we now have, very excitingly, air conditioning in our bedroom. So it's all been wired into here. We've got the electrician coming to, to cut everything off like these bits, but we have overtaken this cupboard and added this unit. We've tried it out and the air comes out so well at this vent up here. And I just know that this is gonna be one of those things that we are so grateful that we've put in in this particular room. In the summer months, we'll probably just live in here. <laughs> probably just never leave. I'll be shooting all of my videos in this room because it will be so nice and cool. We've also got a bit of an update on the bathroom, although not a huge one. They are all ready in here to plaster on Saturday. So the plastering is gonna be happening Saturday and then the tiling in here begins on Monday. It just feels like a completely different room. Obviously it's gonna feel uh, slightly more enclosed when we have the furniture in, but it really is just, it's opened the space up so much. And um, we're also gonna be changing up this area as well. This used to feel like it was part of the bathroom. We're gonna be changing that, that's a Lauren Casey idea. They're gonna, gonna actually decorate this as part of the room so that when you walk in, it doesn't look like you see the bathroom, you actually see the entrance of a bedroom, essentially. I think that's gonna feel a lot nicer. Mr. Mill and Gordon down there looking rather confused and blinking profusely. <laughs> You've had a very hard day, haven't you? Um, we're still waiting for the furniture to be picked up. There's been a bit of a delay with that. We also have, oh, I have to show you the utility because that is just looking so wonderful. This is it all. Ooh. This is the utility room, just waiting for its handles and new tap in here, but it is coming together really nicely. Obviously, obviously skirtings are gonna be put on. It will all be styled in here. Um, we've also got our skirtings on in the hallway. They are being painted. There is a lot of stuff everywhere. And we have the final coat in the downstairs cloakroom of Georgetown and I think that this is one of my favorite colors ever. This just looks so rich. It honestly looks like mahogany. It could, it, it really could in the daylight, in the shadows, it looks like it's real mahogany. It's absolutely beautiful. This camera always brighten things up a little bit, but next week we should be getting uh, the paper on the walls, which is really, really good. But it has been a very, very long day, um, a stressful day, and there's been a lot of drilling and a lot of noise. You would have seen that from um, earlier on in the video. It has been intense, but I think that we're actually, we're gonna get the hallways finished tomorrow. That is what Mr. Paul, our decorator, has told us. And obviously I've shown you the um, greenhouse and all of that stuff. So yeah, it has been a minute. I'm now gonna cook us some dinner because we are both absolutely starving. And um, probably if we're lucky, we could snuggle down and watch an episode of Anne with, Anne with an E in the bedroom, in the, in the living room. Do you think there's time? No, there's probably not time really, is there? 
Oh, we haven't watched any episodes this week. I feel like life has gone from like zero to a hundred recently and um, it's just really, really hectic but enjoyable. Oh, I didn't show you this as well. I've, all, I've received some lovely bags from Erin, so I thought we could quickly get these open because it looks like there's some very beautiful blooms in there. And you know that I love absolutely everything from Erin. Right, what do we have in here? Look at this little bag. That is such a wonderful little summer beach bag. It's like a sage green jute bag. That is really lovely. Oh, okay, so we have introduce you to my newest fragrance, Erin Mediterranean Honeysuckle in Bloom. Oh, I loved this last year, so I am excited this this year oh it's got a beautiful white lid <gasps> look at that oh wow oh I love that that smells so fresh but it's also got that floral edge that the in bloom would suggest oh wow it almost reminds me of like zesty it's kind of like zesty but also with a, a, like a hint of um blossom smells like the the freshness of blossom but also that floral undertone it is oh so so wonderful honeysuckle gardenia and grapefruit are blended with jasmine and tuberose and lifted with the freshness fresh refreshing citrus of italian bergamot so this is the original mediterranean honeysuckle and it's new and um not improved because it was already already beautiful, but in bloomed. <laughs> right, I am gonna make some dinner and I'm going to sign off this video here. Please don't forget that I have my Farfetch discount code, which I will pop on screen again. Um, if you are looking to pick anything up, then let me know. Also let me know, remember, let me know about anything that you're loving at this time of the year as well. So I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, that'll be the Any Van picking up our furniture. Fabulous. That was an absolute lie. It was not Any Van. It was the most beautiful delivery from Elizabeth Arden for their new fragrance, which is Ginger Lily. I haven't smelt it yet, but I had to show you this beautiful wreath because I finally took, took down my winter wreath um, from the front door. And now it looks really bare, especially now it's got this fresh lick of paint. So I think to finish off this video, we're going to hang this on the door. Have they taken the, the nail out of the door? Do you think? <gasps> Let's check. No, I, I took it out. Oh. No, no, I didn't. Let's check. The moment of truth. <laughs> it is still up, which is absolutely fabulous. So we, I it's place. okay. We can just put it on there for now. Of course. To make us feel happy oh how wonderful it, make me feel happy. it makes me feel happy can you put it, it on for me like twice. the door is finished being painted it's the frame that's not been finished right, okay, fine. thank you now put the blooming yeah, wreath up anyway. nothing like doing a job twice <laughs> my favorite thing it really is okay porty okay <laughs> Is that supposed to hang down? Or is that no, you're supposed to be the tie. So you will tie it up like that. I know, it's stressful, isn't it? Watching someone do a job twice. <laughs> Higher than that. I hang up the lids, look, ready? And then we're going to make the perfect tie. There. No, no. There. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> what are you crying for? Are you happy with that? Or I do a, a wonderful, a luxurious bow. Wonderful. Oh, I'm going to take a picture of that tomorrow because I think that's su such a beautiful wreath. It's got hydrangeas in it. A little thirsty boy over there do having you want, his. Do you want a bow or... Yeah, bow's fine. I mean, that is the most horrific bow I've ever seen. Come here, sausage fingers. <laughs> Let me do it. <laughs> it looks like donkey ears. <laughs> Let me do it. Let babe, let me babe. They say a piece of art is never finished. <laughs> babe, let me do it. Let me do it. It's lovely. It's not lovely. Let me do it. <laughs> I 
Oh, cute. Like a dicky bow. Everyone's going to have a go at me for being horrible to you. No, 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 that is a better bow. I needed to, to actually watch how you did that because you used a different way. I'd literally just do a shoelace. And it's not the best because usually I'd do it upside down, but... Loop, swoop and pull. Yeah, and you can always trim the... <laughs> yes, in fact, I think that's what I'll do, but... Um, yeah, I think that's right. Get us some scissors and cut yeah. the... Okay, thanks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that is the wreath on the door with Mr Mill and Gordon stood in the archway but it looks absolutely wonderful in our little porch makes me so happy and another little fragrance this is um, what the wreath was sent for it's for the launch of the new ginger lily from Elizabeth Arden's white tea collection and I love 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 this collection as well it's so lovely to receive two new editions from two of my favorite fragrance like what's the word brands and houses but Elizabeth Arden is obviously not just a fragrance brand but I'm feeling very spoilt this evening thank you so much now I actually am going okay I'm going I'll leave you guys to it I will see you guys in my next video have a lovely evening and I hope you snuggle up and we're on the final stretch we're on the home stretch <laughs>